So, you desperately need to control your weight. Not a problem. Click your mesh, shift click the skeleton, control P, and pick with automatic weights. Then click the skeleton, shift click the body, and go to weight paint mode. And under the tools, make sure you check auto normalize. Otherwise, Blender will f you across the floor and up the wall. And I'm not gonna be able to help you because your painting is gonna make absolutely no sense. Don't ask me why, just, just do it. Also, turn on X mirror to make sure that what you paint on the left is copied to the right. Now, scroll to the top, set blend to mix, weight to one, radius to 50, and strength to one. So, here's how this works. Your skeleton has bones, and your goal is to assign territory so that when that bone moves, the correct parts of the body move with it. To select the bone, hold control and left click. The bone will glow, and from here you just left click over the point of the body that you want that bone to control. Once the bone is selected, you can press R to rotate or G to move, unless you're using IK. If you are, you're gonna have to select the IK handle first. You can tell how loyal each point on the body is to a bone by looking at its color. Red means the bone completely owns that territory. Blue means that bone has no control over that area at all. Green means 50% control, yellow means 80, and so on. How strong the colors are depends on the strength of your brush. So right now we have our strength maxed out to one, which means that all the points that we touch are gonna be painted in red or 100%. If we were to set the strength to 0.5, then all the points that we paint would be represented in green or 50% instead. So if we pick this bone and all these points are red, that means that when we move this bone, all the red points will follow that bone exactly. But if these points were painted green instead, then when this bone moves, they would only follow the bone about 50% of the way. You can change the strength of the brush at any time by pressing shift F. You can also just change the radius by pressing F. One last thing, if you are doing high poly, the default brush works great. It just means that the center of the brush is going to have the most strength and the paint will be weaker in the outer areas of the radius. But when you are doing low poly, I recommend recommend to set the brush to flat, which just means that every point inside of the brush radius is going to be set to whatever strength you have. Okay, so those are the tools. But how do you use them? How do you know where to paint? Well, the easy way is to start with what you know for sure. Set your strength to one and paint a rough draft. For example, I'm pretty sure that all the points above the head should belong 100% to the head bone. So we are just going to paint this whole area red. And everything beyond the wrist is probably going to be controlled by the hand. We can do the fingers later. Same thing with the foot. Just just go through all the main bones and paint a deep red area for anything that might belong to it. Now, some of you may wish you had the ability to paint the front and back faces at the same time. But unfortunately for you, you are shit out of luck. Because unlike any other 3D software, Blender's front faces only button is totally busted. And even if it worked, Blender's x-ray mode doesn't work in weight paint mode. It's been broken for years and it doesn't look like they have any plans to fix it anytime soon, so you are f***ed. Until they fix this, you are gonna have to waste your time manually painting the front and back separately. Anyway, once you've done the draft, it's time to smoothen things out. Now, to do that, you are gonna need my super secret family technique that's been passed down from generation to generation. From my great-grandfather, to my grandfather, to my mother, to my friend, to me, and now finally to you. We call it... If at first your joints been fugly, click the bone next to it and apply point 0.2 in between. That's right, point 0.2 is the answer you have been looking for. In addition to your weight painting needs, point 0.2 has many healthy side effects including but not limited to. Increased life expectancy, cancer reduction, a six pack, a mortgage, a new girlfriend, and a C plus on your next exam. If you don't experience any of these symptoms within the first five days of using point 0.2, you are doing it wrong. And you should consult your doctor about additional medications. Medication. So switch to point two today while supplies last. Okay, but seriously, if you're not happy with the transition between two areas, ask yourself, what direction should the problem points be going? If you have a bone next to him that is in that general direction, select it and try point two. Now, if the points went too far, control Z to undo, reduce strength a bit and try again. If they didn't go far enough, undo again and increase the strength instead. Now, if you find that you are not happy with the transition no matter where you draw the paint, then consider changing your topology. Just add or remove points that you think will be more compatible with your joints. If you do all that and you still aren't getting the right results, consider adding adding a control bone. Place the control bone in the middle of the points in question, then paint the points to that bone so that when it moves in combination with the main bone, you get the transition you want. If you're not sure how to do those last two steps, don't worry, we'll get to them in detail for all the most common issues like elbow and knee clipping, fingers, pelvis, and the shoulder areas throughout the week. In the meanwhile, hope that helped. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.